Hello and welcome to Project Art Now. I'm back from my holiday. I spent some lovely time with the family in Spain, more specifically Fraga, which is a hidden jewel that all lovers of art should visit at least once. And you better believe I'll share its beauty with you all. But first, join me in a quick visit to Zaragoza. Sorry about the check-in, but I promise it's not like that the whole video. We are now at Plaza de Nuestra Señora del Pilar. According to the Catholic tradition, which, fun fact, is the religion I follow, this is where the Virgin Mary made her first appearance while she was still living in Jerusalem, at the top of a pillar, where later the cathedral was built. The architecture is in itself a masterpiece. I am talking of course of the whole plaza, not just the cathedral, which the inside is very taken. Even if you're not a religious person, I'd advise you to visit for the sake of the art. Alas, I'm not able to show it now, as it's strictly forbidden to take pictures and or videos, and turns out I'm a good guy. Now, something I can't show you is the Fuente de la Hispanidad, which was built as part of the renovations made to the plaza in 1991. Zaragoza has plenty more to offer, but now I'm taking you all to Fraga. Whenever I visit a place, one of my favorite activities is to go to the museum. Alas, this time it was not possible. However, I still got to experience some of the best street art ever, including some thought-provoking poems.
Now, let's enjoy the natural sight, granted, it's short, all the more reason to care about it. Traveling is a great way to learn. For example, I did not know Red Dragonflight existed. Did you? Please comment down below whether you knew or not. Here we see the city from above. Fraga, like some other European cities, was built on the top of a hill because, you know, having the high ground was a thing long before Star Wars. In modern times, the city has expanded, and it's very interesting contrast how at the top we find the ancient site while at the bottom we have the new one. Now, I'll take you to the skies. I must say, I love the shots I got here. The clouds, the sea, the shore, and even a tiny ice line made for a beautiful scenery. The best part is that even if I were to take the same flight again, sit at the same place, I will never ever get this footage again. And with that, I leave you. Hope you have enjoyed, and I wish you come back next week. Bye bye.